So we got to a point here where we had our pattern going across here. And what we needed was the same pattern going across in the other direction. We were able to do that by using mirror and specifically mirror bodies. Okay. But what if um, this isn't symmetrical? Or even if we just wanted another approach to this? Well, let's take a look at what we can do. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to drag back, let's say before um, the mirror there. What we need to do is we need to uh, have two ribs or two patterns of that rib, and they have to be on different levels. And we want our first pattern to be on the lower level. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this back even before my rib. I'm going to create another plane here. Let's grab this, and I'm just going to reference it. Let's go even one millimeter below. Checking, so there's one millimeter below. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that first rib on that new um, sketch plane. So we'll put it on plane one here. Now what we get is this pattern is just a little bit below the edge. And that's all we need. All we need is a little bit below. Now it's going to give access to our next rib pattern to spread right over top of this. And that's what we're going to do. So let's go over and create our second rib here. Uh, it was going to be a sketch from edge to edge. Um, and how was this going to be done? This was going to be, I think it was five mil from here, a 45 degree angle. Let's turn that into a rib. We'll go down, I think it was one millimeter. Uh, there we go. What body do we want? We want it going into that body there. And there we go. So now we've got a rib that goes through here. And this one's all the way at the very top. So that's the little difference there that we're looking for. Now, if we do a pattern for this one, we can do the same idea. So let's go, um, and what options are we gonna choose here? Let's choose a direction. We're gonna go up to reference. Let's choose this point here as a reference. I'm just doing the exact same thing they did only on the other side here. So selected reference was gonna be that face there. And that distance, I wanna say was gonna be 12.75 or something like that. Let's see how that looks. And we'll say, okay. And that's not going to work because we also have to make sure we've got the right body selected. So I'm not going to do auto select. Instead, I'm going to select that body there. And let's try this again. There we go. So now we've got our grid. It's not the exact same as what we had before. They're a bit staggered here. But you can see that goes all the way across. And for the purpose of this exercise, we are still able to get what we want. So now it's as simple as going to the combine tool and we'll do what's in common between this body and this body and get a preview there. Say okay, and there we go. Same result, different approach. I hope that helps.